Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel, where I am playing Destiny Rise of Iron. We have blitzed through all five missions, uh, and I've put all the videos up uh, today. I'm not sure when this video will come out. Probably on uh, Friday, Australian. Um, so yeah, so this uh, will do bad blood, and hopefully we'll be able to do the strike as well. So let's get straight to it. Now I've uh, I've got some more drops, um, so I've managed to up my light level a little bit. I've just bought some new greaves and a uh, new ghost as well to bump it up, uh, and I got Something's some new got drops as well. But I mean, other than that, nothing nothing's changed. Need to know how and why, and you need to put a stop to it. The hive are the okay, the Lord's tanker. Watch, and let's head to the Giant's Husk. Alright, uh, so yeah, so I've also got a new pulse rifle as well. I need to get my light level back up now. Okay, so we'll head to the giant's husk. Um. It's possible we're walking into a territorial dispute, but something's telling me there's more to it than that. Agreed. The hive can be defensive, but what I'm tracking seems like a full-on assault. The chatter's aggressive, angry. This isn't just a show of force. The hive are after something. I was expecting hostilities, but this is... they're at war. Take out as many as you want. But my advice? Find the splicer leading this fight. Put him down. There. A splicer captain, up high, near the overpass. Alrighty, let's try and take out the splicer captain. What's that? The captain dropped something. The splicer keys. The splicer relay. The Splicer's High Priest. There's references to the Hive here. The Splicer's High Priest is either keeping something from the Hive, or has taken something from them. Search the overpass. See what else you can find. Alrighty, what's up here? Whatever the splicers have locked up here, the hive are hungry for it. Let's crack open some crates. See what their high priest is hiding. Won't budge. Let's find another. Whoa, okay. So we're trying to figure out what's in the boxes that the hive are after. God damn, these splicers are just away your health. It's quite a cool little environment actually with the overpass. Oh, 
Oh, right, I'm supposed to be trying to open these things. Sealed tight. Get another crate. Um, this one. Won't budge. Let's find another. It's always going to be the last one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tons, tons of them. Won't budge. Let's find another. This one open. Let's find another. It's gonna be that last one right there. Always gonna be the last one. Something's wrong here. Hmm. What's in the box? This isn't good. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Shit. Oh no. I'm out of bullets. Oh god. I thought I thought it was like, oh no. It's cool that they are bursting out from the uh, shit. A lot of hive. Uh, should be pretty much all of them. The Splicer's High Priest is... He's corralling Thrall, collecting them. No wonder the Hive are on the warpath. Any chance this isn't related to the Splicer's experiments with Siva? Slim to none. Oh. There were heavy Siva readings <laughs> from the Hive they had created. <laughs> huh, okay, whoops. Let's try it again, shall we? The splicers are simply displacing the throng. The splicer's role within a fallen house is equivalent to a mad scientist. Or warlock. Sure. Just didn't want to be the one who said it. Point is, they're the fallen's big brains. We've seen what they can do with limited knowledge of SIVA. They've basically force-fed their own evolution. So... What if they're attempting the same with the hive? They could control them. Or worse. There are SIVA readings pinging all over this region. I'll try to match them against the specific heat signature we found. There. This is 
definitely the place. So many splices. Splicer key. What the hell is a splicer key? We need a closer look at what's in that cave. Pop. No, I don't. I should probably pop one just in case. Where are they? There. Hmm. That looks like a knight. This is worst case scenario. The splicers aren't in a territorial war with the hive. They're experimenting on them. Lovely. And if the splicer's high priest is going to these lengths, oh, okay. he's gone crazy with power. So now we've got to uh, do the strike, which I might do next episode to keep you guys uh, holding on. So what I'll probably do is I'll just go back and do these engrams, um, so we can get a nice little loop. This area is huge and I've barely even explored it. I think this is where the new PvE stuff is, but I don't know where. I mean, I haven't even set foot on patrol yet, so... Um, so we'll go to the uh, Crypt Arc and do our Engrams as well. Oh, hello. Exotic Engram, thank you. Oh, it must be done from the... Because uh, I did a Heroic Strike before. Um, well, not Heroic Strike, just a Heroic Mission beforehand. Um, so, first things first is we need to go and make sure we've got our maximum light possible. Because um, that just means if we do get new stuff, then the new stuff will be really good. Um, so we've got 332, so 340. 332. 330. I think that's the max we can do at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing Ingram by Ingram from um, the lower ones possible. So we'll do the boots first. Which I probably won't get better than 350. Uh, heavy weapon. Oh, didn't even get a heavy weapon. Take care of it. Many like it Special. 336, there we go. Let it lead your curiosity far. Okay, and then we have our exotic. If I could use it, I would Bones of Eo, which I already have. But it's 337 for my hunter. Ah, which isn't too bad. Um, But to be honest, I probably don't need them. Because I've already got them on my hunter. Which is unfortunate, but that's alright. Got an exotic shard from it. So yeah, so now we've just got the strike to do. Um, yeah. So, I'm glad you uh, joined us in the Bad Blood mission. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more Game Jump material and some more Destiny, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jump, signing out.